Hey guys, happy May 1st. Uh, May 1st, if you don't know, maybe you do. It's, um, uh, it used to be in USSR, it was a day of work, a uh, day of workers, a uh, celebration of people who are um, em employers, empl I mean, em employees, uh, workers, and all kinds of labor, people who um put effort labor and that was always may 1st is always a starting f was always a starting for the may holidays which usually t will take 10 days because we would celebrate the international what we called work hard workers day uh day of labor day of uh effort and and um hard work and then we would have a victory day on may 9th uh, world war ii victory for the ussr that took place on may 9th 1945 so usually people would manage to get the whole week off or 10 days off and it's a big deal this is a time in ukraine when people are going for uh, shashlik you guys know it's a ukrainian barbecue kind of thing uh, or kebab how they call it in the middle east and everybody is doing the um outings in the forest and the dacha like cottage houses and having uh, all kinds of treats and just getting together it's usually a beautiful time i wish i would be in ukraine right now uh because i know my friends are celebrating they're taking some time off um of course uh time is a bit different because everybody has a job right now that's not necessarily recognizing all these holidays and with conflict with russia a lot of holidays got thrown out of the calendar but people still have habit to have uh, celebrate may holidays so called so that is what's going on in ukraine guys i am back to michigami like my son says michigami <laughs> actually it is an indian name for michigan and it means uh, great lakes uh, as you know we have big uh we have lake michigan and uh, some other big lakes here so that was an indian name but i just really i actually like it when my son says we are back in michigami <laughs> it's so cute uh i want to tell you guys i've received lots of letters um my mailbox is full so please have some patience if you want to know more about our trip you shall ask me in uh in the comments here or in a uh, personal message here on Facebook just inbox me and um, I will invite you next Wednesday night for a discussion details on a trip and we will also talk about K1 visa process because some of our guys are engaged and they've been going through K1 so it would be trip details and K1 um we're gonna be working on apartments uh booking apartments our dates are uh july 14th to july 24th um unless we decide to make it a little bit shorter but so far the committed members want to be there for 10 days and um explore with me and i'm gonna be the guide and uh, uh translator and relationship with ukrainian women coach and all of the above and of course i will be help have people in ukraine who will be helping me uh anything from airport pickups to uh helping me leading the group and i'm really excited to go places and just enjoy having experiences um you know guys i'm not a classic uh roman tour. i am more of an adventure person more of a spontaneous person uh, Ukraine have, especially Kyiv, has very developed social life. I really believe that going out there and exploring and actually meeting people, making friends, uh, creating your own network, I think it could be a great experience for many people because we have that opportunity. I probably would not offer that in Michigan because it's very limited i guess only the the college kids are you know mingling and and you know interacting uh when they go out 
uh, here is, I mean, of course, people uh, do meet each other like at the bars and stuff like that, but I actually do not highly recommend uh, to to meeting people at the bar in Ukraine. Not that you can't meet somebody, you totally can meet somebody at the bar, but it's great also to meet people in the daytime and see what they like because a lot of people come to the bar to meet somebody but not with a good purpose so it all depends though it really depends and the power of uh going uh of having somebody who understands and can read people and their behavior um is pretty i do think it it adds value because you got to be from there sometimes to understand people. You can have two ladies standing next to each other and one would be totally genuine and really kind and having sincere intentions. And another one will like, will act like it, but she really won't be that uh, gen uh, genuine. Um, some of you some of you guys are also the the impasse kind and you can feel people and you can read people and that's why you are here watch, uh, watching uh, my videos and supporting my channel because you know the things i'm saying and doing uh coming from my heart and that's the only reason you're watching these videos um because you can feel when somebody tells you the truth or people are lying, you can scan. You have this little signal inside of you. Well, I have the same thing. And it's pretty powerful. And to be honest, uh, it's, um, you know, what you feel is never wrong. When you feel things, you feel them for a reason. So pretty much I am relying um on that and of course you know the experience and i believe of course guys i believe that you can um feel the person as well even if that person is not that fluent in english but sometimes it could be confusing guys and some people are better than the others in figuring out the back the feedback and I want to uh, just mention today something because everything is fresh. We just had our experiences in uh, in uh, Dallas. It was truly an epic trip. You know, it was truly great. I, I knew it would be really awesome, but I didn't know that it would be just absolutely uh, incredible like that. What a great experience in all the ways. It was uh, exploration. It was everything. But we had a one hiccup <laughs> when we had a, a meetup with the subscribers. And we had uh, a gentleman, a person who was absolutely um, disregarding everybody in uh, on a meetup. And he felt like he came specifically for me. And... Um, Unfortunately, I did not stand for myself. That's things that I realized I felt now I feel hypercritical. I'm teaching you guys how to, uh, you know, do all these things and communication. And, and here we are, you know, I'm being a nice girl, you know, nice quote unquote and being nice sucks. <laughs> being nice when you are not true to yourself is one of the uh, worst things that you can do. Yeah, because you are not true to yourself. So in, in this situation, somebody came over and started overpowering conversation with the information like being a guide. You know, like, like we hired a guide to learn the history of Dallas. And he totally wanted all the attention. And it was so inappropriate. I was lost. I was shocked. I just lost my senses for a minute and i don't blame the guys that they didn't tell him anything because i know how deeply rooted that being nice uh culture is here and i'm i became a victim of that uh, as well instead of getting up and telling that gentleman to uh be a little bit more considerate and let other people talk and that he is not the only one guest and we, are, we did not pay for the tour of Dallas, so we don't need to hear about Dallas history. We just uh, came to communicate. And then what was really unpleasant, uh, when I went out, um, he was in, interrogating my son about my personal life. 
that was so inappropriate. He was asking questions about his his dad, and he was um, just, you know, just, it is so rude. It is just unacceptable. He's a kid, but he's my kid. So he, he gave him a great answer, you know. He, great, he gave him the great answer. It made me laugh, and basically he told me, it's a private information, man. <laughs> it's not any of your business. Um, he was, he was asking me about my story and I know you guys want to know my story. I understand that. And I am working on sharing that because I think it could inspire many people, uh, and you will get to know me better this way, but it's very hard to share your story without adding more pe like people to it who were in the story. And a lot of people that were in the story don't want to be talked about. So... That's a challenge, but I, I'm still uh, I'm still open to uh, do that. Maybe I'll do it when I get my first 10,000 subs. How about that? But anyways, guys, I just want to tell you one of the things that uh, I was thinking is so important is to learn to seek the feedback. When you're showing up and you're talking to somebody, um, you got to see their reaction. If you see that the conversation is dying, that you both don't know how to finish it. If it goes for too long, if the person doesn't have spark in their eyes and they look like this, or like this, or if if they are just looking aside or they are rolling their eyes, well, you're probably doing something wrong. Don't blame the responsibility uh, on for that on them, but take a signal and stop. Stop talking. You know, stop talking and think about. Um, listening or stop doing what you're doing you're not getting a response and this is one of the really important thing guys when for you when you meet people you go out sometimes you uh, ignoring the obvious response and I really want to encourage you to tune in into your intuition because your intuition is a gold in this kind of uh, adventure in this kind of pursuit your intuition your inner guidance is the gold sometimes you're talking to a lady and she acts interested but you feel she is not sometimes you're talking to a lady uh she shows she, like as if she is not interested but you know she is i want you guys to tune in to to inspire you <laughs> once again to tune in with who you really are uh, with the man who you really are, with the man who trusts his decisions, who trusts his intuitions, he trusts his impulses and his inner voice. Impulses are a lot stronger actually than intelligence. The impulse is something that we are gifted to have and they always run 100% true because it's our inner built GPS system. It's inner built. It's not the surface uh, emotional surface thing. So... And in uh, Ukraine, people very much, in some ways, I don't know how to explain, but people are a lot more alive. In just, we have less of um, small talk and talk that doesn't mean anything. Like in Ukraine, somebody offer you help, they are serious. Here, people often would help you, but often it's just a way of, ways of polite, of being polite to say, well, call me if you need anything usually it doesn't really because if you call them and ask something it will be like it, so it's just different mentality and uh in order to understand it and have great experience you really need to tune in with who you are the thing the being the the being a nice girl or being a nice guy it it that the things that sucks like for example i'm not upset right now that uh, you know, we had that guess that was so inappropriate. I'm upset because, you know, there, there is no way to scan everybody, especially when you're already out. But what I am not happy about is that I let that happen, that I just let somebody to come, overpower the conversation, ask inappropriate personal questions to me and to my son. And then when he came back home, he wrote me a huge long letter and he was mad that I did not Tell, like criticize him in public so you see learn this guys so when you are being nice quote unquote you're not saying how you feel people in the end will also criticize you for that um and i totally agree you're not being nice when you not tell how you really feel but yet 
this is my Americanization thing and all the guys who were in the meeting uh, we let somebody else take control and I stopped I really stopped enjoying I'll be honest I stopped enjoying the meeting when this person showed up I enjoyed it before that I enjoyed it after that but in that moment I just didn't know what to do and I didn't have the nerve to tell him you need to leave and that's what I really wanted to say uh, because it's inappropriate to come to a group of people being two hours late and take over t take over the conversation it's unacceptable but i felt empathy because the way you know the situation was i felt actually sympathy f for the person i felt um i knew things aren't quite all right on there if you know what i mean no i'm saying <laughs> if you know what i'm saying guys things were not quite that well but anyways, I'm and uh, I'm I'm sure if he will hear this message, he'll totally disagree with it. But it really doesn't matter, and and the whole event even doesn't matter that that happened. We had a great time overall. But I just want to say that it is powerful to have some accountability when you being um, nice, fakely, uh, you hurting yourself first you you got to be open and i can't believe that i let uh things happen when i can could have just say stop <laughs> i had enough stop right now uh, i was hoping actually that somebody would see my face my facial expression i wasn't smiling i was just really irritated and then i was really sad but that was you know maybe that was a great lesson a great reminder and in a way a great um, opportunity and great lesson to step up into your power and maybe some bigger event is coming up you know some bigger event in life where I will need to speak up so maybe that was a sign you know from God universe who, you know whoever higher power to hey you gotta look out for yourself and don't let anybody uh, ruin what you're doing and um, yeah what do you guys think about that and do you how many of nice guys do i have we did read at the vip club and nice uh miss no more mr nice guys no more mr nice guy and it's an incredible book i read it several times and i have to say i've been better with saying no and with saying people to people exactly what i think about them but I still need practice and what, what about you guys do do you feel that I feel that you can tell people the truth without trying to hurt them you can detach the negativity and just uh, tell them what you really think without trying to threaten them and I think it helps both it helps you and it helps them at least they know they are going the wrong way so well when we're gonna be in Ukraine uh, you will have a personal um, expert consultant with you I'm spe I'm planning to spend this all 10 days with my guys and we are almost booked up booked up we have probably two or three spots left for the tour uh, we're gonna lock in the apartments and hotels within a week or two and then I will be working on the tour details and I do think it could be a good value for you guys some of you are my clients on the consultations and you know uh, what my hour is um, so basically on a tour uh, this July tour I uh, my time and my, my service is for the day what I charge here in US for an hour so and I don't know if I will I won't do this for sure next year it's gonna be something different it's probably I don't know if I'm going to make a tour, but if I will, it's going to be on a whole different level. This time, my goal is to make people, to help people to have authentic experience when they can explore, when they can meet people, learn the culture, network, make friends, uh, talk to ladies, ask me questions on the spot. Because it's one thing when I am on a YouTube talking about insights and advice one thing if i'm right there so that's what i'm planning to do um and you know my hour is 120 120 dollars right now here in us and i'm pretty busy 
So, and I'm charging that a day in Ukraine on a tour for a day. So it's uh, it's a deal. <laughs> it's a deal, and um, also, like I said, we almost closed. We have two or three spots left, roughly. And um, I'm excited about that. I want you guys, well, I want something back from you. And I, that's what I want your emotions, the fun. And I want to uh, maybe record some videos with the guys. I just want you to share your experiences. And I don't want to script anything. I just want to, 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 you to tell other people whether you like it, whether you believe people go, can go on their own to Ukraine um, and things like that. Yes, so I just wanted to make sure that it's really awesome. It's an awesome experience and I want to hear that from you. I'm not going to be giving any script on what you need to say in your testimonial. I want to t you to tell me how it is. Joe, that's okay that you were not able to meet uh, us in, in, on Saturday. I understand you have your job, you have your responsibilities. And uh, guys who were not able to come and join us, uh, you know, in Dallas, you had some, you know, work or family thing going on. I get it. I totally get it. I have no hard feelings or I'm not offended because I was on vacation. You have in your regular everyday life. So... We're going to have more meetings, so don't worry about it. Um, I'll see some of you in Ukraine, and some of you I'll see next winter. We are planning to make another retreat in Florida, and I would like to add some more things to it. I would like it to make it really worse for you to travel and have a nice mini vacation and uh, learn something new. So that would be the goal. Anyways, guys, that's my second live video in last hour. I start, I'm starting to make live shows on YouTube. So the content is going to be different on YouTube. It's going to be YouTube live videos. And here's going to be Facebook live videos. I might sometimes cross post, but I want you guys to help me to grow this page. And I want to, for the YouTube page to grow. So those of you guys who want to help in any way, and um, you feel free to you know reach out and and uh, we can see what we can do because I have been getting messages from some people so that want to help me to grow and I will get back to you guys. I have at least two or three subscribers that know things about the marketing and and so on. But you can help me. You know, one of the best ways to help me to grow is just share the videos. So I also want to honor people who want who watch uh, YouTube to make own YouTube shows because it's almost 6,000 people who probably would appreciate the YouTube life. So you guys um, can also help with participating in, in um, different uh, pages with different slightly different content the free group is gonna grow and i'm gonna make some live videos in the f in, in um in uh, extra uh, extra groups that i made and of course my vip people come first because they uh, work um they really dedicated to to our mission and what we do but all of you matter to me, guys. Every single one of you matter to me. So I'm going to see what I can do better. I wish you a wonderful evening. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I hope that you really get my message about communication. We need to work on our communication so, uh, blind spots because it could be a deal breaker. I will post more, more precise videos on that as well. But... Meanwhile, thank you so very much and I wish you a wonderful night. Thank you.